This is Idaho News 6. Welcome back. The Horseshoe Bend Flight Park provides a place where both advanced paragliders and beginners can soar like an eagle. Idaho News 6's outdoors reporter Steve Dent visited the four-year-old park and has more on how the owner continues to fly high despite the loss of his business partner and friend in a tragic accident. We kind of pioneered the sport here in Idaho. In doing so, my dream turned into wanting to have my own facility to train people how to fly. Scott Edwards run, 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 run. runs Horseshoe Bend Flight Park, and on this day, he's teaching a pair of newlyweds who came to Idaho for their honeymoon. Our end goal was initially just to see if we'd like it, and we were here yesterday, and we weren't planning on being here for another day. There you go. <laughs> and I ended up convincing my husband to stay for another day because I wanted to spend some more time with the shoots. Because this park has a relaxed atmosphere and is probably the most dog-friendly place I've ever been to, that helps draw in people from all over the world, regardless of their level of experience. Their heart is just a pounding, and they're about ready to do something they've never done before. That fear is just written all over their face. You can see it, their knees are trembling. And then we take off and we get a fly. And as soon as we leave the ground, all of that's gone. And we get to enjoy flying with the hawks or the eagles around us. Once we land, we celebrate. Scott took me up for a tandem flight and I was feeling those jitters, but the wind changed and we couldn't fly. Safety is paramount when it comes to paragliding, but accidents happen. And last summer, Scott lost his friend and co-owner of the park, Justin Bohr, after he crashed. If I were to say anything about dealing with hard times is don't give up. If we can keep pushing forward and loving our lives, your lives, then you're gonna be the best you're gonna be. But if we give up on that, then it's a downhill spiral. I recommend that we always push hard. But it also helps to have support. And Scott's girlfriend, LD, provides that after she conquered her fear of flying. The energy and the smile lasts for weeks. They call, oh my gosh, that was the most amazing experience. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. And it really is family. Like now they're family. The second you come through those gates, it's family. Like you're family now, whether you like it or not. <laughs> And that's how these newlyweds, Rebecca and Blake, feel after taking lessons from Scott. Like, I didn't picture it to be like this at all, but it seems like paragliding is a really relaxed community, and I, I really welcome that. But yeah, like, he seems super awesome and just relaxed, and he knows what he's doing, and I can trust him, so. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.